And as those temperatures stay high this summer, it's important to stay hydrated. But you want to watch out for drinks that maybe have too much sugar or even sodium. Iowa Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics Nikki Starr is with us this morning to talk about how you can have the right type of nutrients and get that water. Absolutely. So like you said, the temperatures are rising. No matter if you're doing a sporting event, if you have a family reunion, it's hot outside and you're going to be sweating. And so we want to make sure that we start out hydrated. Mm -hmm. So what we need in a day, an average person, is about a gallon. Wow. Um, it's about eight. Eight uh -huh. ounce glasses of yep. water. In the morning, wake up, you know, I keep a water bottle right beside my bed. Mm -hmm. I start out hydrated, I drink a glass or two before I even start the day. So you want to make sure um, some indicators for being thirsty or, you know, not, you might be a little dehydrated. You might be thirsty. If you feel thirsty, you're going to be dehydrated. So go ahead and grab something, um, you know, light, some water. Um, you can actually do some electrolyte waters. Mm -hmm. I do infused waters with fruit mm -hmm. and yes. herbs. They're so really refreshing. refreshing. Yep. Keep them in the fridge. You can, adds a lot of flavor without a lot of sugar. Mm -hmm. um, now with sporting events, there's time and a place for sports beverages. Um, you know, bicycling, rag rags coming up. You know, mm -hmm. you're gonna wanna replace that sodium and that potassium you lose when you sweat. And so you want light, light beverages with sodium and potassium. So we have electrolyte waters, we have other sports drinks that can help you do that. Don't start out a sporting event with that because it could, you have tummy issues, you might have yeah. cramps just because it's um, a little heavy in the sugar. But you do need those carbohydrates to replenish if you're active. Replenish yeah. and replace, so afterwards, yep. that's when you can yep. do that. Or in between, like if it's a long period of time, Right. Yep. Um, another way is like I, I as a dietitian, I love food, right? <laughs> I love flavor. So you can eat your water. Um, fruit like melons and grapes are about 90 some, you know, a little over 90% mm -hmm. water. So I like to eat it. So what we're going to do is make a watermelon spritzer. A great so idea. Fun. Yeah, a great yeah, idea. To, this is it right here. Yep, lug around in a cooler to a sporting event or a family, uh -huh. family reunion. So what we do is we just mellowed out um, little ball melon balls mm -hmm. um, of watermelon, just a cut watermelon. I'm going to add um, some orange peel okay. and some lime peel to that, a little bit of orange juice, um, and some ginger ale. So it's about a half a cup of ginger ale. So it's going to add a little bit of that sparkling, that, mm -hmm. um, that zest, and about half a cup of orange juice. We're just going to pour that in. Do you have recommendations for orange juice? Because orange juice can be pretty high in sugar. Um, actually, just 100% orange juice, and I would keep mm -hmm. it to about a half a cup a day. Yeah. Um, eating fruit is the best way to get you know the, the nutrition bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're going to drink juice, just limit it um, and just yeah. stick to 100% fruit juice. Yes. Um, I also do the pulp in my orange juice just because it's going to add a little bit of fiber to that. Oh, okay, um, good idea. So we have a little bit about two tablespoons of honey and that's going to sweeten it up naturally mm -hmm. and then if you want to mix that up together sure. and then I have it just served up in a fun martini glass if you want it yeah. if you're having a little get together or you can just put it like in a, a dish in a cooler um, but what you can also do is serve it up in a watermelon bowl oh that's a good idea so, yep, yeah so easy to cut um, you just simply use a, a knife like you would carve a pumpkin so that's a great presentation um, and it is it's really fun great for this time of year and you know in but you were talking about sports and staying hydrated mm -hmm. and you actually have a special announcement there was something big that happened here locally yeah so I coach an 11 um, and under softball team and uh -huh. they actually made it to the um, National World Series that was hosted right here in Des Moines so, so cool yeah so they were very good they competed tough against some teams all across the nation um, so it was fun to watch all the teams come in from Texas and Michigan and, and the girls actually competed. We didn't quite make it to the end, but you know what? I'm super proud of them. I'm, I'm excited for next year. So and I got to give a shout out to Urban Del Rage girls. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're near and dear to my heart. And like I said, I can't wait to see what they, they become next year. Yeah, congratulations. So. Way to do the Des Moines area yeah. proud. And thank you so much for being with us this morning. Congratulations. Thank and you. we'll be right back.